All right, so in this class, we are going to cover how to add in a list of items, how to add in numbers and the indenting as well as the line spacing. So assuming we have these two paragraphs and we want to number them, these are list of fruits. You can select them and we can bold the headers. You can select this one also and bold the headers as well. You can do that with command B also in Mac to get the bolded nature. Okay, so let's say we want to give these items a number. We want them numbered so we can just select by just selecting the last one and dragging or selecting the first one and dragging with your mouse left click and just holding it you can see we've selected all the list of items now you can come over here we can make it a bulleted list normal bullets okay so you can see with just one click we have this dot as our list and if you don't want you can click on this small arrow and you have the option to change to any list of your choice you can go with this I kind of like it sometimes if you don't want you can see you can go with this tick and you can see different different types and if you don't want you can as well come over here come to customize and you can select from the available ones these are numbers if you want numbers you can see different types of numbers you can see them and if you want bullets you can see different kind of bullets okay the character style you can see from here now let's say we just want the bullet and we want it to go with the selected one this one so this is for bulleted list and if you want numbered list you can select let's say in this list of some nigerian delicacies and come over here you can use numbers this is going to be give you the default numberings one two three and if you go to the last one and hit on enter it's going to give you the next one which you can write as something like amala okay and bigly right and you can just keep writing if you want but if you don't want this type of numbering as well you can click and select and you can come to the number through this small arrow you can have this type of numbering if you want this type if you want it to have the letter a to c a to f you can see them with the parentheses okay so you can see you can go to roman numerals also you can customize if you want to go to, to roman numerals but these are just different styles of numbering your listed items but i prefer to go with one two three and this is just basic now another thing you can look into is if you want more for example after this first option you have other options like we've explained in the previous class if you hit an enter it's going to tell you that you can put in item two but if you hit on the tab which means you're going to go to level two giving sub items under this two ancient cover you can give sub items maybe that are needed under this so if you don't want it to start with one you can come over here and come to customize and this is level two right now so you can change it to maybe something like okay abc and you can say okay to this and you can see the next one is abc for example we can say vegetables and then we can see the next one under the tuition kafa it keeps on going like that for example we can say oil and maybe let's say we can say maize or something like that okay so this is how the arrangement is going to be so this for listed items we can do nearly the same for the paragraphs so for example assuming we want to add an indent so we can come over here we can add indent at the beginning you see this in most of our write-ups you can see we can just add indent increase indent you can see the entire document moving just one spacing forward you can reduce it also by coming over here you can see and reduce it or you can move the entire document just like that you can move them uh, either one spacing or two spacing however you want it okay so you can increase this line spacing also in between the lines you can select let's say we select this text and come to line spacing most of our write-ups for example in seminar papers you may be asked to have one to 1.15 spacing once you click you can see it has given you that spacing and in some projects you'll be asked to write with double line spacing so this is 1.1 this is single line spacing the previous one you can have double line spacing which is going to give you more space accordingly okay so you can see we now have this is double line spacing if you want to reduce that you can always come over here and specify the line spacing accordingly okay at least you can give a range also or proportional to or fixed okay you can fix the line spacing but i prefer to go with 1.15 which is very okay and then you can increase the paragraphing this is the paragraph spacing okay you can click and you can see in between these paragraphs you are now increasing the spacing and you can reduce the spacing also with the next item like we've explained previously in the previous class okay so this is just a bit about how to add numbers listed items indenting as well as line spacing within libreoffice
i hope you enjoyed this video so this does it for this class hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and see you in the next class